Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to express whole numbers as fractions. In other words, how to write whole numbers as fractions. We will start with fractions that are equal to one whole. So that will be our first section. And then we will move on to other whole numbers. Now, simply put, whenever we have a fraction that has the same numerator and denominator, that fraction is equal to one. So the same top number and bottom number. But why is that? How does that work? Let's jump into our examples and find out. Starting with number one, where we have three big cookies. We're going to write a fraction for each of these cookies representing the amount of each cookie left. Let's start with cookie A. So this cookie right here. So writing a fraction to represent the amount of this cookie left, this cookie has been divided into a total of two equal parts. So two is our denominator. One of those parts is left. So one is our numerator. So our fraction here, one half. One half of the cookie is left. So is that one whole cookie? And is that an example of a fraction that equals one? No, one half is less than one. Let's build on this and look at cookie B now. Now for cookie B, we can see that we have the whole cookie here. Let's write a fraction to represent this. Now cookie B is also divided into a total of two equal parts. So two is our denominator again. But here, two parts of the cookie are left. So two is our numerator as well. Two over two, two halves is our fraction here. That's the amount of this cookie that is left. Now two halves, two over two, is equal to one whole. So this fraction is equal to one. We have the same numerator and denominator here. So again, this fraction is equal to one whole. And that cookie gives us a visual of this. Even though the cookie has been divided into equal parts, we have all of the parts left. We have the whole cookie. Let's move on to cookie C, which is right here. And again, just like cookie B, we can tell that we have the whole cookie here. We have one whole cookie. But this cookie has been divided into a total of four equal parts. So four is the denominator. And then all four parts are left. So four is our numerator as well. Four fourths of the cookie is left, which equals one whole. We have the same numerator and denominator. So even though cookie B and C are divided into a different number of total parts, we still have all of the parts left for both. So both of these fractions equal one and they are equivalent fractions. So something to keep in mind, it doesn't matter how large the numbers are or how small the numbers are, if the numerator and denominator are the same, that fraction equals one. Let's move on to number two, where we have an empty garden. Now this garden has been divided into eight equal parts. We're going to plant some flowers and write a fraction to represent the part of the garden with flowers. So now our flowers are planted. What fraction of the garden has flowers? There are eight total parts. So that's our denominator. Eight of the parts are filled with flowers. So eight is our numerator as well. All eight parts are filled with flowers, eight eighths. This fraction equals the whole garden. This fraction equals one. Eight out of eight parts are filled with flowers. So we have one whole garden here. Lastly, let's move on to number three for one more example of a fraction that equals one whole. We need to shade three thirds. So one third. Two thirds. And three thirds. Three out of three parts are shaded. One whole rectangle is shaded. We have the same numerator 
and denominator. So again, just another visual of a fraction equal to one whole. So there you have it. There's a little bit about fractions that are equal to one whole. Just remember, if a fraction has the same numerator and denominator, that fraction is equal to one. Let's move on to writing other whole numbers as fractions. Now let's take a look at writing whole numbers as fractions. We will have one whole included here, but the focus will be on other whole numbers in this section. Now the most simple and basic way to do this, we can write any whole number as a fraction by writing the whole number as the numerator and one as the denominator. So we just write the whole number over one, and it's as simple as that. Let's jump into number one and see what this looks like and how this works. Now for number one, we're going to have three fractions. We have three sections here. We're going to write one, two, and three as fractions, and we'll use pizzas to help us visualize this. Let's start with A, which is right here, where we have one pizza. We have one whole pizza. Let's write one as a fraction. Well, this pizza has been divided into how many equal parts? Just one. This pizza is just one part. It's just one piece. So writing this as a fraction, one is our denominator. Now, how many of these holes do we have? How many pizzas do we have? One. So one is our numerator as well. We have one whole. One over one is one as a fraction. Let's move on to B, which is right here, where we have two pizzas, two whole pizzas. So we need to write two as a fraction. Each pizza is just one part. So one is our denominator. How many holes do we have? Two, so two is our numerator. We have two holes and each is divided into one part. So our fraction is two over one. And then for C, we have three pizzas. So this is C right here, and we have three pizzas, three holes. So we need to write this as a fraction. Each pizza is just one part. So one is our denominator. And we have three holes. So three is our numerator. We have three holes, and each is divided into one part. So our fraction is three over one. Let's move on to number two, where we have rectangles. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole rectangles. So we have seven, and then as a fraction, each rectangle is just one part. So one is our denominator, and we have seven holes. So seven is our numerator. We have seven holes, and each is divided into one part. So our fraction is seven over one. Moving on to number three, we have 12, and we don't have any models or shapes here. Let's write 12 as a fraction. All we need to do is write 12 over one, and that's 12 as a fraction. So 12 over one, and that's it. That's 12 as a fraction. Now you may be thinking, why would we ever need to write a whole number as a fraction? And that's a great question. Well, we will be working with fractions and whole numbers all throughout math and life. Sometimes fractions and whole numbers are mixed in together. So we need to write the whole numbers as fractions in order to work with the fractions and whole numbers together. For example, when we are adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, and we have both fractions and whole numbers involved. And there are other situations as well. So we need to be able to write whole numbers as fractions. Let's move on to numbers four and five. Taking a look at number four now, we are going to work with pizzas again. And we have three sections for number four, A, B, and C. Now you'll notice we have two whole pizzas for each section here. We're actually going to write three different fractions that are equal to two. 
So all of these will be equivalent. They will all represent the same value of two. So this example is to show that we actually have equivalent fractions for whole numbers as well, just like we do for any other fraction. Now for A here, we have two whole pizzas and each pizza is just one part, just like earlier in the video. So one is our denominator. So let's write two as a fraction here. One is the denominator and then two is our numerator. So nothing new for this one. We have two over one and that fraction is equal to two. Moving on to B, this one's going to be a little different. We can see that we have two whole pizzas, but they are divided into fourths, four equal parts. So we're going to write a fraction equal to two, but we're going to use fourths. Since these pizzas are divided into four equal parts, our denominator is four. Now we need to see how many fourths, how many parts or pieces of pizza make up those two pizzas. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight is our numerator. Eight over four is our fraction, eight fourths. Eight fourths is a fraction equal to two. And those pizzas help us see that. Now let's take a look at C. We still have two pizzas here, but these pizzas are divided into eighths, eight equal parts. So we're going to write a fraction equal to two using eighths. Since these pizzas are divided into eight equal parts, eight is our denominator. Now we need to see how many eighths make up those two pizzas. In other words, how many pieces of pizza make up those two pizzas? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So sixteen is our numerator. Sixteen over eight is our fraction, sixteen eighths. 16 eighths is a fraction equal to two. Now all three of these fractions are equivalent. They all equal two. So really the most simple way to write a whole number as a fraction is just put the whole number over one. But we need to be familiar with equivalent fractions as well. And no, there is more than one way here. Because when working with fractions and whole numbers, we will sometimes need these equivalent fractions or be able to recognize them. Lastly, let's move on to number five. We're going to write two fractions that are equal to three using the rectangles. For A, the rectangles are just one part. So right here, we have three whole rectangles. And again, they are one part each. So we can write this as three over one. So three over one. And that's our fraction. Let's move on to B. So right here. Now we can see that the rectangles are divided into thirds, three equal parts each. So let's write a fraction equal to three using thirds. Since the rectangles are divided into three equal parts, three is our denominator. Now we need to see how many thirds make up those three whole rectangles. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is our numerator. Nine over three, nine thirds is our fraction. Nine thirds is equal to three. Both of these fractions are equivalent. They're both equal to three. So there you have it. There's how to write whole numbers as fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.